Hi everyone, Isaac here from Brooklyn Kayak Company, standing in front of the UHTK29 tandem fishing kayak with upright seats. Whether you own this model or you're thinking about purchasing it, I'm here today to just go over some of the features and functions and get you familiarized with it. Start with the rear cockpit here and go over the uh, upright seat. Uh, this seat is a mesh material, water resistant. Water will just go right through it so you'll stay dry. So it's about six inches off of the bottom of the kayak so you'll you'll never be sitting in water again the it's adjustable in three different ways first adjustment and most important is according to the rider's length you will adjust it forward and backwards according to the footrest up here to make yourself comfortable once you find your comfortable position you'll use the two knobs tighten and you're good to go uh, second adjustment is with these two buckles on the side you can adjust the backrest to get find your uh, comfortable paddling position or fishing position whether you know what it may be and then the third adjustment which is probably my favorite because is what i get most use out of is the um, lift if you go loosen the knobs pull all the way back tighten and now you're roughly five and a half six inches higher off of the kayak than you were before. This is great for uh, sightseeing, casting, fishing, you name it. Being higher off the water is never a bad thing. And then lastly, if you choose, it's not necessary. In my opinion, I, I never do it. But if you choose to, you can uh, lock the um, seat in place using the included bungee cord and uh, D-rings that are in the, in the base here. To move forward in the uh, cockpit, um, uh, every cockpit in front and back include uh, four scupper plugs and scupper holes. Uh, that's for drainage. Uh, if you were to get water in your deck, you'd want to get that drained out and not leave it soaking on, add more weight to the kayak, slow you down. So as you're, when you're in the water, just release that. Self-bailing, the water will drain out. Plug the scupper back up and you're ready to go. We also have the rectangle water tight hatch with the included ins plastic insert tub. Uh, this could be used to store valuables. Again, it's watertight and or bait, things like that. Uh, your choice, whatever the day calls for. Also included in this model is accessory attachments. You'll see on each side, you have uh, four screw mounts. This will be for articulating rod holder mounts, uh, cell phone holders. They make, you name it, they make all different sorts of uh, accessories that will mount into these two plates right here. Then you also have the accessory mount bar. This is for anything that is gonna be customized where they're not gonna fit onto these screw holes and you need to you know, take the drill out of the closet. That's why you'll use this. Um, and this is repl easily replaceable when, when things change down the line. You don't have to buy a new kayak. All you gotta do is replace the bar. Uh, we also have uh, paddle parks. Um, you'll see this bungee cord with the little knob right here. Uh, you just put your uh, paddle in there and lock it in place with the bungee cord. A uh, great thing about the TK29 is the 35 inch beam. You can see this really wide beam. Um, the reason for that beam is um, the biggest trend is standing up. This kayak is built to stand. Uh, you can see the diamond deck pattern on, on, the, on the deck plate for getting a good grip and standing up. Again, the wide beam for stability. Uh, and in the rear, you have a bungee tie down system uh, to storage any excess goods you have handle and up in the front you have a handle and a drain plug uh, which wraps up this well-rounded sit on top fishing kayak that will suit the regular paddler or the avid fisherman enjoy and happy fishing